Hey guys, so welcome to another video and today I'm going to be talking about my top 15 favorite contestants at Miss Universe. So this video is all thanks to Jovan and I appreciate him a lot for that. So before that, please take note that I became a pigeon fan in 2018, but I looked at previous editions of Miss Universe from 2012 to 2017. But this list is just based on 2018 upwards because I feel like I should say things that I personally know about these girls during their journey as they competed in the pigeons. So guys, we're going to start with my favorite contestants from Miss Universe 2018. So she was Miss South Africa after the millennial Peters and while at the Miss Universe stage, she was really consistent throughout. I loved her throughout. I don't think that there was a time that I saw her on the stage where I was going to give her below a 9. I feel like she could have won the title if she competed in another year. It's just that 2018 was so competitive and from the looks of things, it was like it was just Katriona's time to win the crown. After her Miss Universe journey, she came out with one of the best weddings ever that I've ever seen and I just love her so much. I cannot wait to see what's next for her. Vietnam! To be honest, I knew nothing about Vietnam. That was not until I watched Miss Universe 2018. I saw her preliminary performances and was so over the top, especially with her gown. And then I watched her when she made the top 20. And then her opening statement, that was what really just impacted my heart, to be honest. In the end, she was able to make it to the top 5, being elegant, swimsuit, evening gown, etc. I'm so happy with that. After the contest, I saw this post on international poll on Instagram that Vietnam made the top 5 again at Miss Universe after a long number of years. And so because of this, I was just curious. I went out now to learn about Vietnamese culture, etc. Asia's next top model. You know, so in all of these contests, I'll support Vietnam because I just enjoy them so much. I don't know. I feel like it was Henye who just paved my way to like all these Vietnamese cultures and Vietnamese stuff. From then up to now, if you ask me anything about Miss Universe Vietnam, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> So guys, I told you that I became a pigeon fan in 2018 and so going to Miss Universe that year, everywhere was just Katrina, Katrina, Katrina and she had competed in Miss World before so it's not surprised me at all the fact that she won the crown in the end. When you look at Katrina's performances, I just feel like it was definitely her time. Guys, up to date, I don't think that any of the upcoming Miss Universe winners after her have done something that was more than that seriously because that was really iconic. And guys, I'll tell you, I really loved Katrina throughout, she was so nice and to me, I think she really deserved her win. Guys, I still cannot believe that just after the preliminary competition, Katrina gained 1 million followers on Instagram. If you like the video so far, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 600 subscribers. Moving on now, we have Miss Universe 2019 and we're going to start with Frederica Cole. Frederica Went to Miss Universe for that year, there was this thing whereby Philippines versus Thailand versus Indonesia and Federica was bullied online because she was short. People said she wore a lot of makeup, etc, etc. But I'm so happy that it's not get into her. And because I'm someone who is also short, at least for now, I could definitely relate to what she was going through. And I was so happy when in the end she surprised us all and gave Indonesia the highest placement at Miss Universe ever. So has it been you two in this South Africa? When she went to South Africa going to Miss Universe, people criticized her saying that she's not used hair, she was so small, etc, etc. But I'm so happy that she stayed true and was herself and in the end she came out with a crown. Personally, I have not see her as a winner like I said before, but the moment she hit the stage, she was doing so good. But when she gave those her answers, it was like game over, like seriously, because her speaking skills were really, really good. I really enjoyed them so much. And I think that so far, she's the best speaker at Miss Universe for the whole decade. That's when it comes to the winner. Next up guys, we have Miss Universe 2020. So despite everything that you guys are going to see, like seriously, this is going to forever remain my best edition of Miss Universe. So I loved her national pigeon performance so much. I think from a national pigeon, it just made me to become a huge fan of her. And so going to Miss Universe, she had all my support. I just loved her there so much, but however, I wish that she was not going to be like a princess and so sweet all the time while on stage. Like I know that it's good, but I wanted to see fierce or sexy, something else. Like when you just smile throughout, like it's not really good. So that's my own criticism. And I somehow feel that if she did better, maybe she would have gone far at Miss Universe. But still, I'm just so happy that she was able to make the first cut on that final night. Myanmar. Guys, I'll tell you that she really deserved her spot on the top 21, mainly for the following reasons. 
according to me so Myanmar my was going through a major crisis back then i don't know if it's still the case now but she protested alongside her people and honestly it was not really that easy but i'm so proud of her for doing that so guys you know that the miss universe Myanmar organization for that year was just in charge of producing a national pigeon and so the rest of her preparations including her flight to the u.s to compete at miss universe was all sponsored by herself can you guys imagine that with all of this going to miss universe she lost some of her suitcases she had to borrow dresses from her colleagues especially her preliminary gown and some national directors such as vietnam they were so sweet to offer and i just like this sharing so much i just wish that i'll have real friends like this at some point in my life honestly so guys her national costume was not really over the top when it came to design but that message on it i just like it so much and so guys with all of this when she made it to the top 21 on the finals night i could not be any more happier for her seriously the, of Mateo, the first queen from independence miss universe philippines so guys i did not know much about her back then when she was competing but now looking back at her journey her preparations for that year and the way that she has evolved i think that it's not all about winning the miss universe crown the beer was so sweet i really enjoyed her preparation going to miss universe i love her swimsuit but i was not really a fan of that her yellow preliminary gown honestly I think that the gown was just yellow and then it just looked plain. The hairstyle too was not my best. I don't hate Philippines guys. I love you Philippines, but I've not like the gown in particular. But I've seen Rabia in other dresses. She is so gorgeous. I just wish that she was something else. I'm just happy that in the end Rabia made the first cut and her life after Miss Universe has been nothing but the best. Andrea Mesa, Mexico. I knew that she was going to go far at the contest because she was coming from Miss World and her preliminary gown up to date is on my top 3 gowns at Miss Universe seriously the gown was so beautiful she worked in it so well I just enjoyed her performance very much I loved her performance so much that the opening dance the swimsuit where she was so sexy the evening gown but now when it came to the question and answer session that's when I started getting a little nervous for her but when she won the title I was very okay with it because first of all English was not her main language but I loved the effort that she put in her performances and what she did in other aspects of the competition were so good peru or india also deserve to win the crown and we don't know what happens backstage or in the rehearsals etc and look at julia gamma recently she was just speaking bad about miss peru so i just feel that in general it's not all about question and answer and to me andrea really deserved her miss universe win and she's going to remain one of my favorite miss universe winners of all time <laughs> When I saw her headshot, I knew that there was something about her. And when I read her story, I was just so amazed with how much her life had changed just in 2021 alone. And so when she made the top 16, it was such a good way to end her year. I just love her performances throughout. I love her personality so much. And I wish that I saw her in the final evening gown round also, seriously, because she was just so fresh and so nice. Nguyen Huan Kim Yuen, big name! First of all, I like the effort that she puts in when it comes to speaking in English. I loved her preliminary performance so much, especially her evening gown. I feel like it was one of the best for that night. The evening gown, the look in general, and the hair. I just loved it so much. At the finals, when she made the top 16, I was so happy. Her swimsuit was so sexy and nice, but however, I feel like she was smiling a lot and maybe that's why she's not moved forward. But I really wish that she moved forward seriously because she really had a lot of potentials. But generally, I'm so happy for her. So I don't know much about her and when she owned the stage, but I have to tell you guys that she was so sweet. I enjoyed her moments so much. I loved her dressing, her outfits, and her styling so much. And I also liked her also because she's the first queer contestant to represent the Philippines at Miss Universe. When she was given the crown for the next Miss Universe Philippines, I got so emotional. I don't know why. There's just this attraction. Maybe it's because we're both pixels. But I think that she has done so well to bring the Philippines to the top 5 again because the last time Philippines was in the top 5 was in 2018. So I just love Bia so much. San Bonani, Lalela Mswane, Richards Bay, South Africa. Okay, guys, I'm going to confess. Going to Miss Universe 2021, I knew nothing about Lalela. Like, seriously. And this video. It's not focused on Miss Universe, it's just her life after Miss Universe. At Miss Universe, normally she did good because she made it to the top TV, but I loved her answers so much. That was a standout moment. But now let's talk about Miss Supernational. I just love her journey so much. I think that she's one of the only few queens that I follow up her journey ever since from the start of preparation to when they win the crown. And I just like that so much. I'm not going to say much, but I have videos about Lalela. I'll leave it up here. You can go check. But yeah, that's just it. 
So honestly, I put her here not because of her performance, but because of the fact that she inspires me personally a lot. Because she is so young and she just taught me that no matter what age you are, you can do it. As long as you have support and as long as you're also good. No matter the age that you are, you can do it. And it just inspires me so much, seriously. Despite everything that is going on, Hannah is so sweet. She's still able to keep her cool. And I just love that so much about her. So guys, Miss Me vs. Twins Twins 2 is still approaching. And for this reason, I'm not going to talk about them because I have to see them perform on stage and alive after the contest. But I'm speculating that Thailand and Puerto Rico will be on my list. So be on the lookout. Please comment below what you think about my video or your favorite queens for these years. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more beauty pleasure videos thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video hey guys welcome to another video it's me tristan and i'm so happy seriously i'm just testing to see how it's going to look like when i start my youtube channel full on